we, we might just do that third, oh, hand in the play, except I don't think I brought it with me. So we won't do that. Um, we won't do that. We might start this, though. Um, but I think we'll, we'll start with idioms again. Um, and we'll do, then we'll, we'll, go, we'll, we'll go over W's in language, in pronunciation. Um, so, do you find when you, when you practice, do you ever practice your idioms? I know, me, you do. Do you ever use idioms when you're just practicing? No, I don't know if these are if these work or I, I should not bother. Do you are you familiar with brush away? Brush away. Just brush it away. Brush it away. It's really of no importance. Brush it away. Now it's not people, but it's things. It's it's as though you had crumbs. You're eating crackers, and you have crumbs on your lap. You just brush it away. It's it's not important. Now welcome back. How did it go? She went to Chiang Mai with her dance troupe. And how and how did they do? Uh, uh, I'm really happy because my team get uh, the maximum level. They got the best? Yes. Ooh, wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you. That reflects on you, of course. That's great. Later on in the class, you'll talk about it. <laughs> okay? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then I want all of you to think about Peter, Lee, Pui, Somet. Yes. Think about. Think about when you think about a time in your life when something wonderful happened to you. All right, P, I want you to think too. Yes. Nath came back from Chiang Mai, Chiang Mai, and she has her team won, her dancing team won. She's going to tell us about it. Then I want you all to tell me, tell the class, something that happened that was wonderful to you. It could be when you were a little tiny child, it could be yesterday. Think of something and put it into English and we'll all share it. Yes. Okay? Yes. I think that is also a better English. And then we'll practice our English. Yes. All right? Yes. Is that good with everybody? Yeah, of All right. We'll, 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 we'll brush away the idiot. Brush away is an idiot. It means it's not really very important. Just brush it away. Um, I use the example of eating cookies or crackers. You're sitting down and you're just eating and you get up and you just brush it away. It's not important. Just brush it away. Is the meaning is like a no big deal or no big deal? It's no big deal. It's the same meaning? Same thing. No big deal. Same brush it away. Brush it away. Brush it away. It's not important. No big deal. Um, it's exactly the same. Brush it away. Um, uh, it could, your, your sentence could be don't, don't worry. Don't worry about it. Just, just 
brush it away. Don't worry about it. Just brush it away. Don't make a big deal out of it. Brush it away. Now, to tell tales. That means to lie. A sentence could be, he tells tales that aren't true. He tells tales. He lies. He's a tale teller. He's a liar. It's like you're making up a story. You're not telling the truth. Not telling the truth. another don't. Don't tell tales out of school. Don't tell tales out of school. Don't tell lies out of school. Don't tell lies about school. Don't tell tales. You could just stop by don't tell tales, not out of school. Just don't tell tales. Don't lie. Don't tell tales. Don't tell tales about yesterday. Yeah, don't tell tales about yesterday. Or don't tell tales about our family. Or don't tell tales about what happened. Yesterday. No, don't. We had a great party. We went on a, a, on a trip. We went to Chiang Mai. Don't tell tales. <laughs> Have you ever heard the, um, there's another idiom, and it's, it's called, it doesn't leave Vegas. Whatever happens in Vegas, Las Vegas, stays in Las Vegas. It's the same thing. Don't tell tales. Don't talk about it. What about a taste of your own medicine? Have you heard that? It's a taste of your own medicine. medicine means it's almost retribution is you you are getting a taste what's happening to you is what you did to someone else so if you were nasty to somebody and then a couple of days later or weeks later or years later they are nasty to you you are getting a taste of your own medicine. You were nasty once, or high hat, or ignored them, and now they're ignoring you, or being high hat with you, or being, ha ha, I don't need her. You're getting a taste of your own medicine. Your past is coming back to haunt you. You're getting a taste of your own medicine. You were this snarky sometimes, and now, now somebody's being that way to you. 
You're getting a taste of your own medicine. <clears throat> Do you want to give me an example? Why did he give me a dirty look? 
I didn't do anything. Huh? And look low, you know. It's it's not a nice. It's a dirty look. He gave me a dirty look. Or um, let's say let's say you get on a bus and um, and uh, and and somebody somebody sits sits there and you're pregnant. Or let's say you're an old woman like me. That person is a young man, so I might give him a dirty look to hope he gets up. Give him a dirty look. It's not really a dirty look. It's just you're giving him a, the evil eye. You're giving him. You're giving him a, a, a. You're giving him a stare to say I don't like you. It's 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 quick and brief, but it is a dirty look. It gives you a dirty look. Um, she gave me a dirty look when I didn't pass the cookies. That's a stupid one. Can anybody think of a better sentence for dirty look? I got a dirty look when I sneezed in public. on the train. 